Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. So here we'll see how to forcefully update the UI if you're using GetX. Now, in general, if we are using GetX and uh, your state could be maintained if you declare your variable as OBS and then inside your UI, if you use the OBX widget and that should be able to update the UI but for some reasons over here this is not updating let me show you that what's going on now like for example if I click on this as you see that of course three items and 30 that's so far so good and everything is working because the related items are all OBS type but the problem is now when I come over here as I click on this I am supposed to see that another 10 is added to it so let's go ahead and click but looks like it did not and then if I do hot reload then we see it updated okay then if I click it again it should be gone but it did not okay so every time I have to do hot reload I'm not sure that whether it's a getx bug or my understanding of getx is small or little so that's why it's being caused but there is a solution to it but once again this solution is brute force solution remember most of the problem should be solved when you have this obx widget and inside the obx widget you have this observable variables now in getx observable variables they have a property called value all right but in my case this was not working okay so the way we are going to do first if you are using getx controller then you have to remove that so let's go ahead and remove this so first we want to convert it to a stateful widget but we are going to start it with a stateless widget first a stateless widget and uh, of course we'll have errors we can ignore that and then for then convert this stateless to stateful the first job is done the second part is actually we can declare over here a controller instance so here we do ver controller and then here we do get dot put goods uh, detail controller this one okay and that's it now this object would be same as this one now let's go ahead and restart it okay now the app is restarted now we'll see that everything works smoothly well not yet so since we have done this one now we need to find a place where we want to trigger rebuild now this is the place actually if i want to click i want the ui to be updated automatically because right now the updating is not a problem right so i need to find this section so this is the place this on tap events causes this to be uh triggered some new actions but and at the same time this is the place where we can use the set state now set state function make sure that ui is updated okay brute force update all right okay cool now let's see if hot reload works or not hopefully it should all right and then let's come back to our ui okay so four items 40 now if i click on this i'm supposed to see that i have added ten dollars on it and it should be updated yes it does if I click again I would expect this would go, go away yes it did if I click on this one I would expect that this is added over here okay if I click again it should be gone all right beautiful so it's working so this is a method where you don't use uh, a get x controller directly use stateful because if you use stateful widget then you will have access to set state now set state is a flutter native method which confirms that your ui would be rebuilt it just makes sure that ui is rebuilt all right so that's how you go ahead and do it